In your book, you, you talk about a number of things that include stress. How, how does stress translate into weight gain? What is going on there that allows that to happen? Stress and weight gain. So we talked about the cortisol and how you know, the body produces cortisol when you're under stress. Mm -hmm. And when your body is under stress for a long period of time, and first of all, when you have high levels of cortisol, the function is let's try to get blood sugar to the cells so we can do what the body needs to do, whether it's to run, whether sure. it's to think. But what happens is when you have these levels that are high all the time, your body is constantly circulating sugar inside the blood. So your body either has to use it, and most of us, as we know as Americans, we're not using it, your body's going to store it. Hmm. So the body goes through this period of storing, and one of the best storage forms of energy is fat. So your body's going to store the fat. So that's the big problem that happens. And then if you have stressors that are there all the time and you don't control them, the body's going to start to slow down to conserve energy. And now your metabolic rate's coming down. So at first you're storing the fat, and now your metabolic rate's coming down. And so people with adrenal fatigue, people with thyroid hormone problems, one of the big problems that they have or the symptoms that they complain about most is the way they look and the way they feel. So it's mm -hmm. fatigue and it's weight gain. Mm 